Namaste. In today's video, we'll be doing some simple stretches to strengthen the muscles in your feet, calf and the glutes. And this series is suitable to do it as a warm up and those who are standing for a longer time having pain in your ankles, feet, this is a suitable video. This sequence is also suitable for people having plantar fasciitis pain on your feet especially in the morning immediately after getting up the first two few steps will be too painful so practicing these stretches will help you to relieve the pain or reduce the intensity of the pain so let's get started so let's begin sit comfortably keeping one leg bent we'll begin with some gentle massages to the calf muscles you can make a fist and just roll your fist forward and backward up and down motion on the sides of your calf muscles there are two main muscles soleus and gastrocnemius muscle behind your leg so just giving some gentle massages with the fist this helps to improve the blood circulation mainly behind your leg and on the outer side of your leg just below your knee to your ankle give the massage gentle massage now repeat on the other side make a fist and with the knuckles gently push down and bring it up do couple of rounds these calf muscles give us strength and stability for our standing postures then walking running jumping all those activities so keeping them strong and toned will improve your activities and those who are having plantar fasciitis giving these massages improves the blood circulation to the feet and ankle improves the muscle tone of your calf muscles so can be practiced any time of the day relax your efforts now we'll do caterpillar walk moving forward and backward with your toes make tiny steps taking your leg forward and backward this helps to improve the muscle tone of your feet and blood circulation to the soles of your feet very gently walk forward with your toes you can stretch and then bend your leg back This caterpillar walk also strengthens your ankles. You can do couple of rounds, normal breathing. Just relax your body and focus on the walk, walking with the toes. Now repeat the same thing with the other leg. When you are stretching and bending one leg, the other leg can be folded and relaxed. You can support your body keeping your arms beside your body. Do couple of rounds on this side as well. Now 
relax your efforts. We will do some ankle flexion and extension. Bend one leg, fold the other leg, hold your leg, taking your leg with your arms, you can hold at your elbows and do the flexion and extension of your ankles. Try to keep it or hold the position for few seconds. Flex, extend. Then make circles with your ankle. Improving the muscle tone of your calf as well as your ankles. Clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. Do a couple of rounds. Keep your leg down. Now take the other leg. Hold it with your arms. Flex and extend. You can go with the breath. Breathe in, flex. Breathe out, extend. Do a couple of rounds. Slow rounds. This also improves your knee, strength of your knees. As you improve the calf muscle tone, it will give more stability for your knees. Circles, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Do it gently with the breath. Slow and deep breath and make circles. Relax. Now come on your all fours to do, do some stretches for the ankles. Standing in all fours. Like we do the cat stretch or the tiger stretch. Lift your right leg up. Flex your toes and lift your knee up and down. Keep on flexing your toes. Your toes should be pointing the floor. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. So here the main focus is for your ankles and calves. So flex your toes towards the floor. Then lift your knee up and down. Unlike in calf cat stretch, we are not focusing on the spine. Focus on to your glutes and your ankles. Relax. Then go to Shashangasana. Relax your efforts completely. Now slowly come up and lie on your back to do bridge pose, low bridge pose. So keep your legs slightly separate, feet flat on the floor. Then keep your elbows bent, slowly lift your hip up, not so much up, low bridge. Then focus on your feet, lift your toes up and bring it down. Giving stretch for the soles of your feet as well as for your ankles. Lift your toes up and then down. Now lift your heels up, bring it down. Your hip is still up, slightly off the floor. Do a couple of rounds. This will give very good stretch for the calf as well as your glutes. Using the strength on your hip. And to your calf muscles, you are doing this stretch. Lifting your heels up and down. Now slowly bring your hip down and relax your efforts. Take a couple of deep breaths and relax. Now come to the standing position. Take one mat to do this practice. Folded mat. And keep your toes on the mat and the heels on the floor. It's a balancing pose as well. Slowly lift your heels up and come down. You are pressing your toes firmly on the folded mat and lifting your heels up. It looks easy but getting balance is a bit challenging. So slowly raise your heels up. Come on your toes and bring your heels down. Do a couple of rounds slowly. If you feel that you are not getting enough balance, then you can take the support of a wall or a chair close by and you can hold on to that and do the stretch. Taking the support of the wall, you can stay little more comfortably, pressing your toes down, lifting your heels up. This gives stretch for the entire leg muscles. Now you lift one leg up, you can keep your leg on the 
ankle or outside of your ankle now balance on one foot and do the same stretch lifting your heel up and down now switch sides you can hold the wall or to a chair and take the support while doing this pose slowly lifting your heels up and down gentle stretch throughout your leg now relax your efforts release and relax now come for the final position relaxing leg up the wall you can stay close to your wall and keep your legs both legs on the wall if you want you can keep a pillow and rest your lower back on the pillow as you do the leg up the wall position so stay here for another 5 to 10 minutes relax yourself completely it's a very soothing practice which drains the blood back to your hips from your feet you can even stay up to 20 minutes if time permits it's very relaxing for your feet relaxes your ankles calves knees and your groin just stay there relax your body completely this pose not just relaxes your legs is also good for people those who are having indigestion problem as the blood is drained back to your abdominal area this improves your digestion it's very stress busting pose all you need to do is just lie down keeping the legs up the wall and relax relax your body completely keep your eyes closed relax 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 completely after a long tiring day doing these stretches and leg up the wall will make you feel comfortable relaxed and soothing thank you so much for joining me today namaste